From the Losher Park in Lowell, Massachusetts, it's time for the 2015 America East Baseball Championship. And today, we have the number one seed Seawolves of Stony Brook University taking on the number two seed UMBC Retrievers. Earlier today, sharply into left field. This one will bounce and hit the wall for the chance. As he heads into second base, played in by Parenti, a leadoff double for Kevin Lachance. So they can be patient. Payoff pitch. Up high, ball four. Back to back walks, and it's 1 0 UMBC. Inside, ball four. Second bases loaded walk. Third walk issued by McKeckard, and it's 2 0 Retrievers. Barnes chops it through the hole into left field. That'll score a one. And then being held at third base is Switalski as Dolshin scores everybody up 90 feet. Three nothing UMBC. Sometimes when you're in that position, you just want to keep going. The 0-1 hit in the air to right field down the line. Gazzoli into the corner, can't make the play. It's going to bounce around. Two runs are going to score. Everybody had to hold up on the Bates pass. It'll be a two-run double for Mitchell Carroll. Five-nothing retrievers. Himself and the third baseman is not going to score two runs. In the air, left center field. Kelly coming into center fielder. Casali can't make the play. In from third comes Giles. Up the middle, and into center field. Comes third, Honeyman. Nachmanoff will be sent home. Two run single for Hanley, and Stony Brook back within four. The 1 0. Sharply into left field, down for a hit. One run in. Here comes his second. Nope, he gets held. There he moves up, 90 feet, and we're tied at seven. Breaking ball by the diving third baseman, Carroll in the left field. One run in, two runs in. 10 run second inning for Stony Brook. Two one pitch with the bases loaded. Ground ball, shortstop in the left field. One run in. Everybody up 90 feet, 11 8 now. The 1-1, one, one. into right field, down for a hit. Into third base, Perugine, he'll be waved home. The throw will be cut off, and scoring is Perugine, 12-9 Seawolves. The 1-0 to Perugine, into right center field, RBI single, back to a four-run game. Four hits for Perugine. All singles, by the way, of course. The 0 one pitch, and he golfed it into left center field, a base hit. Lachance around third, he will come home and score. After a bobble, Switalski heads to third, in there safely, Nesnik diving to try to keep it out of the dugout there. And he kept the ball from going into the dugout, because if it goes in the dugout, each runner is going to move up another base. What a play by Nesnik. You know, in this sea of singles and... Honeyman I... into left field, base hit. I think that may qualify as a, as a big hit. That's Zola scores from third. Giles up to second. With two down in the bottom of the eighth in a five-run game. Do the Retrievers have any life left? Four outs to go. Payoff pitch. Called strike three. Stone gets him looking. Two runners left on base, and we go to the ninth. Ground ball, shortstop, Giles gathers, throws the first, and the Stony Brook Seawolves are the 2015 America East champions. The Seawolves reign again. Down here on the field with Coach Matt Sink, Coach, we just kind of joked a little bit on the way over about 
pulling out that 11 run inning it kind of a kind of a strange game but you guys found a way to pull it out what was the attitude after UMBC came out and put up a seven spot you know um, it was an incredibly uh, crazy start to this game and uh, you know the other day they they came out and had a big inning we answered right back and they had a bigger inning this time and we came back and answered uh, with an incredible 11 runs so I can't say enough about my team I couldn't be prouder of them and you guys have really had a theme on offense all year of patience discipline it's led the conference in walks now they, their pitchers definitely had a little bit of a trouble with the strike zone today, but you you think you made it tougher on UMBC with your with your plate approach? Absolutely, I think that uh, you know uh, what we have done all year. Uh, I'm sure they've got a game plan for that some way, and uh, so you know they're pitching as careful, but the guys are also doing a great job of plate discipline. We didn't panic, and uh, we were able to get some walks, some timely hits, and uh, leads to a big inning. Now Riley McEachern, you you sent him back out in in the second inning. Did you know right away that if he put somebody on, you were going to go to the pen, or was it just you saw something you didn't like? No, that, you know, when he went back out, it was he had to show us who's going to throw strikes. You know, again, it was a crazy uh, first inning that he had, and uh, you know, some of his own doing, uh, some not of his fault. But you know, once he walked that guy, you know, we we just had to make a change. And the rest of your bullpen, Tim Nesnick, Chad Lee, Cameron, of course, Cameron Stone, they did a great job and. What, what can you say about your bullpen and the way they've performed all year long? You know, we, we felt right from the start that uh, the depth of our bullpen was going to be our strength this year. Uh, and, uh, and that proved to be the case in this tournament. And, uh, and those guys just did an outstanding job. For Tim to come in and do what he did for us uh, was, uh, was awesome. And Chad Lee as well. And, uh, you know, Cam was just absolutely lights out. And, you know, one last question, you guys were in this situation last year against Binghamton and, and it just didn't work out. So, you know, was there a kind of a, a maturation of the roster that led to, you know, that great comeback today or just kind of one of those days? Yeah, no, I think that, uh, you know, uh, it was about, what, 365 days ago <laughs> that uh, that we've lived with this and uh, it was super disappointing. And, and, you know, we've tried to keep things simple and we simply wanted to play uh, our best every day. And I think we went out each of these three games and, and uh, although they were, you know, tight games and crazy games, we played better, and and again, I couldn't be more proud of my team. Well, thank you very much, Coach. Congratulations. We uh, we look forward very much to watching you guys in the NCAA's. All right, I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you, Coach. And I think we're gonna have Cole Pergine over here. Cole, congratulations. Thank you. Uh, talk first of all. I just want to talk to you a little bit about the the position switch you made this year. I mean. What was it like for you to kind of go from being the shortstop to being in control of the game, you know, every single pitch? Um, I love the change, you know. I didn't really know what this year was going to have in store for me, you know, what position I was going to play. But, you know, I'm happy I made the switch and coaches gave me the opportunity back there. Absolutely. And I talked to, to Coach Sank a little bit about, you know, your roster and kind of the propensity you guys have to take your walks. And now is, is that really a thing that you guys take pride in? Um, you know, I wouldn't say that's something we work on, like our patience at the plate or anything, you know, just focusing on getting a good pitch to hit, you know, making the most of our at-bats, you know, not giving away at-bats. So, you know, I guess you could say we work on that, but, you know, yeah. not necessarily getting those walks. It just happens to work out that way. Yeah, yeah. And, you know, kind of, I want to just walk through that 11-run that, uh, that inning a little bit. What was kind of the feeling in the dugout as it kept piling on run after run? I mean, did you, did you have any idea that you would be able to put up that many runs in an inning? Um, yeah, you know, the energy that inning was great. Um, you know, I just can't say enough good things about the guys on this team. Everyone stepped up, you know, starting with Bobby Honeyman on defense, you know, flashing that leather at third. Um, Malcolm, you know, two freshmen having great day days at the plate. So, you know, everyone just kind of fed off each other and stepped up to their roles. And, and one more question. Talk about yourself today. Talk about your at-bats. Everybody, you know, everybody on the roster really had a lot of hits, but it seemed like you were really cued in and hitting the ball hard every single time. What were you seeing out there? Yeah, I mean, the whole team, you know, was, like I said, just feeding off each other. So, you know, I got I to gotta give the credit to those guys over there. You know, it was a great team win today. Well, Cole, thank you very much. Congratulations, and uh, good luck. We really look forward to watching you guys in the NCAA tournament. Thank you. I am Brian Geary down here on the field. We will send it back up to the booth. Stony Brook gets their fifth America East championship.